State Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles had a surprisingly strong showing tonight, coming in second place in votes after Daniel Cameron. Mariah Congedo was with his campaign today and has says he was positive about the future despite the loss. A crowd of more than 100 people filled the room here at the Embassy Suites in Lexington, showing support for Ryan Quarles despite his loss tonight. He took to the podium sharing a relatively short but positive speech to his supporters, telling them it's OK, we had fun. And he shook all of their hands before he left and gave us a few minutes of his time. This was a classic example about what wins elections in modern age. I went the grassroots route. I'm very proud of that. We knew we were going to be uh, underfunded from the beginning. We didn't have the biggest budget in this race, but that's okay. I think that we each, each of the top candidates had their own strengths and weaknesses, and I'm just proud we had a strong showing tonight. Corals has credited his campaign with staying clean and positive throughout. He says he thinks this did help him remain a top candidate. I wanted to help set the example of not only how this primary, but future primaries should be conducted especially as the Republican Party continues to grow. He says he spoke to both Daniel Cameron and Kelly Craft earlier in the day to congratulate each other. I wish Daniel uh, the best of luck and Ambassador Craft and I are personal friends and, uh, and we both reflected on traveling around Kentucky and getting to meet Kentuckians. As for what's next for Corals? I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm going to say a prayer tonight. Uh, I have a great support team around me. Coral says he's supportive of the ticket this fall and is humbled by all the support he was shown throughout his campaign tour. Reporting at the Brian Coral's watch party, Mariah Congito.